The video game you are about to play is extremely unpleasant. If you are interested in casting magic spells or saving the Earth from alien invasions, you might as well stop right now. If a happy ending is important to you, you would certainly be better off with something else. In this game, not only is there no happy ending, there is no happy beginning and very few happy things in the middle. This is because not very many happy things happened in the lives of the three Baudelaire children who are Violet, the oldest, her brother Klaus and their very young sister, Sunny. Sunny was at an age where one mostly speaks in a series of unintelligible shrieks, which most people had trouble understanding. For instance... Jack! <coughs> Mr. Bo? From the bank? <coughs> children? I'm afraid I must inform you of an extremely unfortunate event. I'm very sorry to tell you this. Your parents have perished in a fire that destroyed your entire home. Perished is a word which here means they were lost forever to everyone who loved them and that the world had suddenly become a lonely and sinister place in which the children had to see their way. <coughs> I know you must feel awful right now, but I have some very good news for you. As the executor of your parents' estate, I've made arrangements for you to live with your dear uncle, Count Olaf. <coughs> Consider yourselves lucky children. He's an actor by trade. Generosity is rare in his profession. We don't know a Count Olaf. Hello, hello, hello. I am your beloved Count Olaf, and welcome to my humble dwelling, or in the words of the great French poet Ovid, mi casa et su casa. Violet, enchanté. How do you do? And this must be Klaus. Ovid was Roman, and he didn't speak Spanish. And he never said that. Klaus! <laughs> what a darling child. I have it underlined. I'll show you later. Yahoo! Mr. Poe, I will raise these orphans as if they were my own. Now, where do I sign for the fortune? I mean, uh, children. How do we get this done? <clears throat> oh, you won't officially have guardianship until the hearing Thursday morning. I see. And what am I to do with them until then? <coughs> Excuse me? Nothing? Never mind. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, I'd better be getting back to the bank. Oh, can't you stay? I was going to pull out some board games followed by face painting and uh, make your own Sunday. <laughs> well, if you must go. Uh, now, children, remember, if you need anything, feel free to contact me at the bank. Orphans, let me show you around the house. And after all your chores are done, Ski, this is where you'll sleep, time permitting. As you can see, I've stocked the place with a multitude of jollies, knickknacks, and paddywhacks for your amusement. I find that giving is the greatest gift of all. Whew. If I had music behind me, you'd be crying right now. By the way, there's a small rat infestation problem in the house. Make yourself useful and take care of it. I do it myself, but I find rats to be deeply unpleasant. I don't know. Perhaps there's something about them that reminds me of myself. Klaus, that was a very big rat. How are we gonna get rid of rats? Exterminators use traps and poisons. We don't have anything. Like many people, Violet Baudelaire was afraid of rats and didn't want to have anything to do with them. Unlike many people, she was also a brilliant inventor. Hmm. Anyone who knew Violet well could tell she was thinking very hard when her long hair was tied up in a ribbon to keep it out of her eyes. I've got an idea for a device that'll do the job. I'll need a spring, a broom, a coffee can, and that boxing glove.
Both Baudelaire children will be needed on this adventure. Try switching to Klaus now. I'll take it from here. Well done. At times, the children will be faced with more laborious tasks. A phrase which here means pushing heavy objects across the room. Nice work. While jumping is only recommended for people with strong knees or insects in their trousers, let's give it a go. Stealing is a very impolite habit, and it is something you should never, ever, ever, ever do. Borrowing, on the other hand, is tolerable. Collect that boxing glove now. Even the smartest person in the world can be forgetful at times. If you've forgotten what you're looking for, this list should do the trick. Once you feel you have spent enough time in this dreadful place, you may leave through that door. In these dark moments, when their spirits were down, one thing always made the children feel better memories of their late mother and father, who they missed very much. It's locked, but I can see inside. It looks like some sort of supply closet. Look at this. It's a ventilation shaft. Klaus Baudelaire loved books. Nothing pleased him more than spending an afternoon filling up his head with their contents and everything he read, he remembered. I read a book about home ventilation once. From the size and age of the house, I'd say this is part of an old remote-mounted multiport system. It should connect to other nearby vents and may lead to rooms behind locked doors. Sonny, you up for a challenge? While I personally am not a fan of small, dark spaces, Sonny Baudelaire was extremely brave for her age. Try biting through the board that's blocking the door. Sunny liked to bite things with her four very sharp teeth. Sunny didn't enjoy pushing nearly as much as biting, but she would do anything to help her brother and sister. Thanks, Sonny. I wonder what these are. Maybe we'll need them later. We'll start with the coffee can. That'll serve as a casing for the device. Next, we'll use the broom. It'll be the handle you hold on to, Klaus. Springs store and supply energy, which we'll be needing for sure. And last, the boxing glove, guaranteed to deliver a solid punch. And there you have it. I call it the brilliant bopper.
I'll take it from here. <laughs> you can take care of this. Right, Klaus? The brilliant bopper. Perfect for shaking hands with extremely large people or clearing rats out of a room. Your choice. <laughs> have a task to complete. That wasn't so bad. Let's find some more. Good at this. Let's keep looking. The telescope is pointing at those houses. Who's Count Olaf watching? I don't remember seeing a swimming pool. We'll need to find a key for this. No need for this now but it could be useful later. Violet Klaus and Sonny Baudelaire. Beware Count Olaf. Stop. Motives highly questionable. Stop. We are collecting evidence of wrongdoings. Help us find more. Stop. When assembled, all will be revealed. Stop. P.S. The world is quiet here. Where did it come from? It says that it was delivered by the very fast delivery service. There are often secrets to be found when investigating the lives of the Baudelaire orphans. This will be a good place to keep track of them all. <laughs> 